Miss Minchin, Miss Rose and I... We... We were saying goodbye, Miss Minchin. How dare you risk the reputation of my school in this manner? Nothing's happened that damages your precious school's reputation. As a matter of fact, Miss Rose and I... Jeffrey! For my sake. Oh, please, Miss Minchin. It was all my fault. Silence. Since you are here merely to say goodbye, please do so. Now. Bye, Jeffrey. Bye, Mr. Jeffrey. Bye, dear. Sarah, I shall expect an explanation of this. Yes, Miss Minchin. As soon as I can think of one. been cornered like rats for seven months. I say send more troops to Mafeking if it takes every man in England. I'm with you. No! No! Oh, my boy! My boy! My boy! Oh! They killed my boy! I know soldiers are supposed to stand a lot. My daddy is a good soldier. But they've waited so long for help. Please do something about Math King right away. But they'll all be lost. My daddy won't come back. Oh.
It is a happy circumstance that Sarah's birthday should fall on a day when we're celebrating a glorious victory for Her Majesty's army. And now, Sarah, will you explain to the children your wishes about your birthday? I'm very happy to have you here. And I thought I would like to give presents today, not just receive them, because I... I wanted to show how grateful I am that my father has been rescued. Quiet, children, quiet. Shall we do the presents now? Yes, but your gifts first, Sarah. This is for me. Oh, thank you, Miss Midgen. Now I need to know how to sew. <laughs> <laughs> and this from the entire school. Here are pictures of your native India. Oh, thank you ever and ever so much. I shouldn't have to pretend nearly so hard when I want to make believe I'm there. <laughs> and now, do you want the others to have their presents? Yes, if you please. They're all over here. And your names are all on them. Here you are, Miss Rose. Oh, how nice. And would you help with the other presents? Of course, dear. And this is for you, Miss Midget. Oh, how thoughtful, Sarah. And, uh... From one old trooper to another. Me in younger and happier days. And I was better known as Bubbling Bertie. Oh, thank you. We'd better keep this present a secret. Mum's the word. I should say it is. <coughs> Here, this is from me. Oh, thank you. Hope you like it. Why, it's just what I wanted. Mum's the word, you know. Rather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, miss. Oh. Here's my present, miss. And I ain't so very good. You, Becky. And I'm nothing but flannel, miss. And the flannel aren't so very new. Why, you dear Becky, you made it all yourself. Yes, miss. I made it at night. I knew you could pretend it was setting with diamond pins stuck in. It, it's beautiful, Becky. I shall love it. Oh, will you, miss? The fan lines are very new. And this isn't so very new either. It's my present to you. A present for me, miss? Yes, Becky, with my love. Oh, what is it, miss? It's a scarab from Egypt. My daddy gave it to me because it brings good luck. I'd rather you had it than anyone else I know. Oh, Lomas. I think I'm going to find her. Oh, no, Becky. Not now. I have lots more presents for you, too, in my room. I, I don't know what to say, Miss. You're sweet, Becky. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, look at Mandy's mansion. Yes. Beg pardon, Miss. Yes? Mr. Barrow of Barrow and Skipworth is here to see you. Today, I didn't send for him. He seems very much upset about something. He's waiting in your office. Very well, I'll go at once. Miss Rose. The scarf is beautiful. Miss Rose, will you be sure to tell me when it's almost two o'clock? Of course, dear. You know, I have a very special appointment with my daddy. He's going to be thinking of me at exactly two. I'll watch the time. Thank you, Miss Rose. Oh, Sarah, thank you for the handkerchiefs. They're lovely. Don't you think it's time to cut the cake? Oh, yes, the cake. <laughs> Pray be seated, Mr. Barrow. How much did you advance for this party? Quite a sum, I suspect. What does it matter? Captain Crewe is a very wealthy man. His check will be here shortly. No, Miss Mitchin. There'll be no check. What? 
What do you mean by that? The late Captain Crewe. The late Captain Crewe? Captain Crewe is dead. He was so reported in the list this morning. Moreover, he died a bankrupt. Bankrupt? But his property, his mines... His property and his mines were confiscated by the enemy. You mean to tell me that that child is penniless? That she's left on my hands with nothing? She's certainly left penniless, and she's certainly left on your hands. She hasn't a relative in the world that we know of. But her father's account is overdrawn. I was expecting a check in advance the money for this party. So I understand. But this is monstrous. Now you have to make a wish and blow out all the candles with one breath. My wish is that my father will come back very soon. Now take a big breath. I haven't got very good lungs, have I? <laughs> I'll turn her out in the streets. You think that wise, Miss Minchin? The reputation of your school, you know. My school? Well, the report might get about. And it might not sound well to the parents of some of your other pupils. Yes, that is so. Of course. The child could be made to serve in your employ until her indebtedness is worked out. But that would take years. Quite so. But at least it's better than nothing. Hurry, children, your ice cream's melting. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, it's almost two o'clock, darling. Thank you, Miss Rose. thinking of you. And I know that wherever you are, you're thinking of me, too. Oh, Miss Rose, I felt him with me. I really did. Miss Midgen wants you, dear. Oh, all right. Children, you will leave your gifts here. 